morning all. Here's a good question. Is it, is it a good thing to post when you don't know if you're happy or sad? Keep fighting or throw in the towel? You don't know if you're in a good mood or in a bad mood? You don't know if to do anything or not do anything to cause any more? issues with your body um hang on let me turn that background music off real quick there we go i mean do you do do you record on a day where you're emotional and you want to cry or you, you feel like you're gonna flare and rage out I personally don't know. I spent yesterday. To, yesterday was a good day. It rained here all day. I spent my day deep in the woods. Being rained on. Just praying. Crying. Screaming. Because you get to that point where you just don't know. You don't know if you want to just throw in the towel or keep fighting on those days and you don't know one day from the next anymore you really really don't and you say things and you don't I, I mean I do I can sit here and say one thing and turn around and I won't remember what I said and that aggravates people and upsets people and that breaks my heart because I don't realize I'm doing it or I don't remember um, I did it or said it or whatever, but um, recently I've been having issues and I found out I have palsy of the gut or bell palsy of the gut, whatever it's called. From um, So that's what's been giving me my severe gut stomach issues recently and um, uh, at least I know what it is now. I haven't treated it yet. Um, I don't know. Today's just one of those days where I just, I just don't know what, which, which way to turn. I feel like I'm in a box and I'm constantly being put in this box slash bubble and it's not that people put me in it, it's my disease and my illness and has put me in it and I just want out of the damn box I want out of that box and I don't understand how yesterday how we can have a good day a couple good days and then the disease smacks you back like it's the devil and then you, you go through hell for a couple days to a week to however long and then I just don't understand how this disease just rages in rages out rages in rages out and it makes you feel like you're on a constant roller coaster and you don't know when you're going to have a good day or a bad day. You don't know if you to make plans or not to make plans. If you do, are they going to be canceled at the last minute? And then you got to think about, well, if I go anywhere, i got to take this bag, which I do. I've got a bag that's got all my all my folders of all my, my information and my health issues and what's not what's wrong with me and all this crap and then you got another bag that's stuffed full of all these vitamins and antibiotics and shots and and, you're, and and that's not on top of if you go somewhere packing your luggage it's it's an everyday get up get to your medicine cabinet fill your bottle because I do I mean until I get worse with remembering which I'm getting to that part where I can't remember what medicine I took 
where you have to lay out your schedule of all these medicines to take day in and day out. This hour, this hour, this hour, and this hour. And you never have time just to be you. And I'm at the, like I said, I don't know. Today's one of those, and yesterday was, and one of those day, things where you go through, is it worth fighting? And I know it is. You, you want to, I'm a warrior. You want to keep fighting the disease, and I'm doing that. But then you have those hard days that you just don't want to fight no more. You just want to throw in the towel and just be done. I don't want to take any more medicines. I don't want to do any more shots. I don't want to drink no more of this nasty stuff. I just... I don't know. I've been in silent mode. This is my first speech, or talking for that matter, and since Saturday... I'm not really talked at all, except here, thank you, whatever, simple little words, because I notice I'm doing things that I don't remember I'm doing, or I say things, and then I turn around and do what I say I wasn't going to do, and I don't remember it, and it upsets people, and then you get the silent treatment, and then you just turn around and say, screw it, and I've just been in a silent treatment where... It's better that I don't say nothing because I can't remember if I said it or not, if I did it or not. And it seems to be, I don't know. The disease puts a big wall between you and people. On how much can that person handle? Because you can't handle it as it is. So, if you can't handle it, what makes you think others can handle it? I don't know. I'm just... These past couple days have been those sad, emotional, depressed... You know, just don't know. Just don't know if you want to keep up the fight, keep up the battle. But yet deep in my, my body keeps saying, fight, get up and fight, keep fighting. I don't know. I just, I just tired of feeling, and I know we all do this, like we're fighting this battle on our own, in our own home or in our own community, and that's. It's one of those bad, this is a bad week, I guess, of emotional. You're crying, you're happy, you're laughing, you're raging, you don't know what you're doing. But, I did get my bone marrow medicine, I will say that. Um, let me turn that down some, there we go. I did get my bone marrow medicine, and it finally started working yesterday, where my bones didn't feel like they were bone on bone so I mean finally so I, that's why I spent the day in the woods I just felt sometimes you feel like you need to get away from everybody because if they see you crying they see you screaming or raging or rolling their eyes you know you feel like you're being judged I guess I don't know because then so I just stayed in the damn woods I did it poured and poured here in the state of Tennessee, and I didn't care. I was in that in that mode where I didn't care if I got sick. I didn't care if I died out there. I did not care if I came back home because I was in and it wasn't suicidal mode. It was just. I couldn't care less if yesterday was my last day. 
and whatever happened happens. And I, 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 I don't know. And I feel that way today too. And where I could just walk off and me it would be the woods and just hope I forget everything. Literally go completely stupid and I forget where I'm at, who I am, where I'm supposed to be and just get lost. Never be found. Never come back. Because, I mean, I don't know. I guess it's depression right now where I just, I really don't give a damn. If I wake up the next morning or I go out in these woods and I'll fall, whatever, and be done. Now, I apologize for this. This is one of those bad couple days where I'm a depressed person and I feel no joy right now I have and I, I there's nothing that can I can do or anyone can do that can bring me joy or a feeling of I have to keep going on and it's just like I've been slung in a deep dark pit and that's where I'm stuck at right now at this moment and to die and all I'm wanting to do in my head is just beg to hurry it up get it over with let's end this I don't know I just and my mind is thinking crazy stupid what things that I shouldn't be thinking I, it's just a very depressing I'm very depressed and nothing brought it on it's just just no joy I feel no happiness right now I feel no joy But yet it hurts, it breaks my heart that I feel this way. And yet I still worry of what stupid crap I'm going to do or hope for. And I know we all have these days. I know we do. But they're getting worse with me. They're getting darker and I'm getting deeper into depression and I'm not finding a way out of it and that, that scares me that really scares me but I'm gonna finish drinking this nasty google globby Ugh. and at least I got found out I have Bell palsy of the gut, so that was my is what's going on with my stomach. I'm gonna read you guys something, and I wrote this this morning, and it's gonna be funny because I am in deep depression right now, and but yet what I wrote to inspire others, <laughs> I can't live up to what I wrote because I'm in depression right now, so. I'm going to read it off the paper because I won't remember it. So this is the Tuesday's inspirational quote for all us Lyme warriors or Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever and Co-Infection. Live your life as if it's your last day. Don't look back. Don't regret. Don't feel guilty or wish different. You are a vessel that is to teach others. You have a purpose. Look to the future not to not from not to yesterday take a deep breath breathe release all the anger and just live like the warrior you're meant to be we are united and we will be heard i know i can't live up to the, that 
my inspirational quote that I wrote personally in these past couple days. And I apologize, but also if anybody has any ideas on helping me with the palsy of the gut, herbal remedies or whatever, please let me know. Um, I'm hoping my next post will be a little bit better and I won't be so depressed or thinking bad. But I love you all. Look for the silver lining because if you don't, no one else will. Love you guys. Be good.